This is a special announcement from the self-proclaimed voice of Nicolay, Brian C.P. Harvey. Nicolay is the first school in the state of Wisconsin to have a multimedia yearbook. Throughout the school year, we've been filming you, your classes, your social and extracurricular activities for the video component of your yearbook. This video is a collage of memories recorded on tape for you to cherish the rest of your life. The other S.H.I.E.L.D. editors and myself hope you enjoy this one-of-a-kind memory and remind you that it all begins here. Tell us your favorite class at Nicolet, Matt. Definitely freshman health class. Interesting people, interesting topics. My favorite class is AP Chemistry with Mr. Johnson because he makes chemistry a lot of fun. My favorite teacher at Nicolet was Mr. Lemon because he's a great person and a great teacher. I learned a lot from him and I love him. Mr. Davis because he's a phenomenal swim coach and he looks like Miss Sonny Bono. Mrs. Worm because she cares enough to call me at home. <laughs> To be or not to be is the opening line of Hamlet's famous soliloquy and a guidepost for Nicolet education. From science to math, humanities to history, Nicolet has been and continues to be recognized nationally for its excellence in education. Separated. Hey! The man you disrespect me. Take him out. You gotta keep them separated. The halls of Nicolet have undergone many changes through the years, but none as thorough as a locker renovation undertaken this past summer, when for the first time since the various wings of the building were created, the lockers were renovated, and among the scraping and painting, the I Like Ike stickers were removed. Comedy sports is. Remember in third grade when you had to stay in silent reading? Comedy sports is even more fun than that. It's all about popularity. Comedy sports is pain. It's funny with a PH. It's about being naked. What are you doing? Plugging up the hole that spurts out death. What are you doing? Skinning Shamu! <laughs> Intensity and energy electrified the atmosphere during Nicolay's Pep Week, moving to a culmination at the Friday Pep Rally. The gym, filled with blue and white pride, saw the band play, the sound system fail, and the classes, freshmen through seniors, compete for the coveted Spirit Cup, which, of course, awarded this year again to the senior class. Sam, what was your most memorable sports event here at Nicolet? Um, my most memorable sports event was bringing home the state title my senior year because it was a team effort and we did it together. Rallying from nine points down to beat number five Madison LaFalle at the Whitefish Bay Tournament. Getting second place for the first time in six years at conference for girls swimming. The most, the most memorable part of the 
football season was winning the first game against Baby. What is one of your most memorable moments about cross country? <coughs> it's co-ed. John Maslowski was named an all-conference first team end, as well as being named to the CNI all-suburban team. While the squad suffered through a long season after winning its opening game against Bayview, it was considered a much improved team by no less an authority than Menominee Falls head coach Jim Jeskowitz. Sophomore Penny Dalen set three new school records in the 4,000 meter run and the squad had two first team all-conference performers, Penny Dalen and Ayanna Mackins. Freshman phenom Kyle Frazier finished fourth in the North Shore meet and was named to the all-conference first team as the boys' team improved dramatically. Under the direction of new coach Ted Wax, the young girls squad continued to improve during the year. Senior Aspen Antonio led the way, just failing to qualify for the state meet. Following a long and difficult season in the toughest soccer conference in the state, Ari Matusiak, Adam Jeffers, and Kevin Bonneau were named to the honorable mention all-conference squad. <laughs> Starting and finishing strong is the conference relay and the sectional runner-up, the girls' team under coach Dwight Davis qualified 16 girls for the state meet. Champions, champions, champions. The girls' tennis team this year won the conference, sectional, and new state championship formats. Senior Sam Kahn finished the second in the state singles individual tournament, and a key win by the doubles team of Heidi Johnson and Amanda Cohn placed the squad to the team's state title. The boys volleyball team finished as the satellite conference champions in a league comprised of public and private schools. Named first team all conference were Joe Miller and Jeremy Stilb. The girls volleyball team continued to show improvement and senior Jenny Jorgensen was named first team all conference. Shonda Randolph was named to the honorable mention squad. Waking up in the morning, stumbling around your room, realizing, oh shoot, that you need to dress up. Frantically rifling through the attic for your parents' old clothing, unearthed from a time they would rather keep forgotten. Or perhaps ransacking the laundry for the perfect toga, watching the varsity club initiates in their bizarre outfits. You realize homecoming week has arrived. Despite the football team's loss to Homestead, the weekend was capped off by an elegant evening at a blues oasis, ruled by King Sean Malarkey and Queen Liz Schroeder and their court.
great this year. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. The effort that you're viewing and reading all begins here. Under the direction of editors Deborah Bach, Brian C.P. Harvey, Brad Hansher, Emily Mandelman, and Melly Halley, 41 writers, designers, and photographers work diligently day and night arranging and rearranging precise details in order to put together this first-time multimedia extravaganza. Despite donning t-shirts in place of the old moth-eaten wool uniforms, the music swelled as the sounds of horns and drums permeated across the fields and throughout the gym. Still, there was more volume than usual this year because the group added all the grade school band members during its Lion King homecoming tribute. Let There Be Light. Veteran lighting designer Mark Miller's esoteric and often misunderstood art goes unrecognized and even perhaps unappreciated by unknowing audiences, but never by the director or acting company. Mark, using accumulated computer knowledge and countless hours spent as an apprentice to a lighting designer, has enriched the theater department with his love for the craft. Long, late hours sometimes fade into the gray of early morning as Miller works to capture the colors that create the exact mood for even a small segment of the performance. And there was light. Top 10 reasons why seniors attend Nicolet High School. Number 10, to observe the fashion faux pas made by the Nicolet administration. Number 9, to see Chuck Norris roam the halls. Number 8, that the vending machines just happen to turn off when your dollar bill is in it. Number 7, to learn that there's no ding at the end of the boxing matches. To hear a grown man say, you couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a snow shovel. To discover a petite female English teacher with a black belt in karate. Number four, to watch the band march without uniforms. Number three, to see which senior can devour ten pieces of toast the fastest. To get your name in the yearbook as many times as possible. Jody Syker, Jody Syker, Jody Syker. Number one, to spend the best six years of our lives. Nicolet's master carpenter, senior Danny Birnbaum, is shown here constructing another piece of his fine handcrafted furniture. A fanatic about precision and style, Danny can construct professional quality furniture in about half the time and at a fifth of the cost of that found in professional showrooms. In addition to creating furniture for himself, Danny has won two awards for furniture construction from MATC and made several projects for various classrooms around the school. The particular piece Danny was creating here is an oak candle stand. Ever wondered what your teachers looked like during the Kennedy administration, or perhaps with sideburns? We ransacked the yearbook archives to find these priceless shots. Hush, hush, you walk on by me. You don't say a word. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. Reverend Gerald Saffold leads the 50-plus students who make up the Nicolet Unified Inspirational Choir. NUI sings traditional and contemporary gospel music and performs about six or seven concerts during the year. but we're too embarrassed to ask. Have you ever wondered why teachers always tell you to look it up in the dictionary when you can't spell it? Have you ever wondered how the hair on your arm knows when to stop growing? Why do fat chants and slim chants mean the same thing? Why do they call them a pair of jeans if there's only one? Why do they call them apartments when they're all stuck together? 
Why do they call it cottage cheese when it's not made in a cottage? It doesn't taste like cheese. Why do they call it lipstick when it only comes off? The boys basketball team, under the direction of Steve Baslon, defied the odds and worked hard to finish higher than expected. Senior Jawan Stewart was named for the second time to the all-conference squad. The winter sports season saw both successes and heartbreaks. The girls' basketball team probably saw the most highs and lows, going undefeated to win the conference title and then lost the first game of regionals to Homestead in overtime. The gymnastics team had a difficult year as injuries took their toll and the girls slipped to sixth in the seven-team conference. did very well this year. They showed that hard work and determination pays off. The boys swim team captured third in the strong North Shore Conference and had an outstanding sectional qualifying 10 swimmers and divers for the state meet. Amos Besaw led the wrestling team's improvement qualifying for the state meet. It was the first time in several years that the squad had sent a competitor to Madison. The Burger Yachting Trials actually began weeks before the event. Builders constructed seaworthy crafts that could be propelled across the pool carrying a helmsperson and 50 gallons of water. Sadie Hawkins, Hollywood Knights, where girls actually had to ask guys out, occurred just prior to Valentine's Day. Freshman Gabby Norton here. How are you going to study for exams, Gabby? What are exams? Danny, what's your key to passing exams this year? F214. How do you plan to study for exams, Deborah? Exams? Ah! Editor Deborah Bach, folks. I'm going to learn by osmosis. The new, the cool in 1995. New technology continue to impact our lives in information and entertainment. Four of every five computers sold now have CD-ROM capabilities, advancing the digital movement in the home as well as the office. And in schools as the first interactive CD yearbooks were introduced by NBY, combining video and print memories. New, stronger satellites allowed the home satellite dish to shrink to the size of a large pizza. And there was new telecommunications legislation that will blur the lines between cable, electric, and telephone companies services internationally. In the theaters, the story of a simple man and his life set box office records. Forrest Gump dominated the Oscars, including Best Movie, Actor, and Director. The top soundtrack of the film, an easy winner, The Animated Lion King. 
On television, Home Improvement and Seinfeld remained at the top of primetime ratings. New hit series included Friends and the return of the hour-long drama, ER, Emmy-winning emergency room fiction. Are you ready? What's your beef? My beef is when people stop right in front of me when I'm trying to walk down the halls. My beef is that the toilet paper rolls are really hard to turn, which makes it really hard to get enough toilet paper that you need off the roll. My beef is having to come to school for five long days, week after week. I hate it when people don't give me a ride after school. Hi, I'm Jermaine Williams, head representative of Student Council in 1998. Hi, I'm Antoine Ward. I'm vice president of the class of 1998 Student Council. Hi, I'm Scott Tupper, the president of the freshman class. Just so you know what we've been up to this year, we've sponsored, we've sold concessions at many of the girls' basketball games. The proceeds are hopefully going to sponsor the wish of one child through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We are also sponsoring a three-on-three -three basketball tournament at the end of the year for all Nicolay students. From Chevrolets to BMWs, students creatively manage to fill their $75 parking spaces with their very own, or their parents' very own, agglomerations of metal and rubber. Today is Blood Day, and I'm Elise Cochran, and this is Lenora Jules, and that's Sophia Ramon. Sophia gave blood, Lenora didn't because she was scared, and I didn't because I'm that's sick as well. I'm very sick. for Nicolay students in their sophomore year is driver's licenses. <laughs> Juggling fistfuls of processed provisions into one's gaping maw is what lunchtime is all about. Anxiously awaited is Hero and Pizza Hut Day when piles of students fight their way to the front of the lunch line and those who survive will eat that day. The strong thrive and the weak perish at our dining hall. of 94 will always be remembered in baseball. No World Series due to the player strike. In other sports news this year, Nebraska went undefeated to finish number one in the college football polls. World Cup soccer came to the USA. Brazil left with the coveted championship.
Steve Young and Jerry Rice connected as the 49ers won another Super Bowl. British Columbia over Baltimore for the CFL Grey Cup. Unbeaten Connecticut won the women's championship, defeating Tennessee. And UCLA returned to the Final Four, beating Arkansas for the title. And remember the comebacks, George Foreman, heavyweight boxing champion again, and Michael Jordan returning to basketball as though he had never left. <laughs> team got sick of hitting the ceiling in the new gym during batting practice and opened against Germantown's ace pitcher with limited success, losing 9-2. The boys track squad put forth a strong effort finishing fourth in the indoor. Senior Kipper Berg won the pole vault and the six lap relay team also finished first. weather didn't stop the girls track team from winning its first indoor conference championship as they dominated the field at Whitefish Bay's Fieldhouse. Among the winners for the girls were sophomores Adrian Trice and Ayanna Mackins. golf team under direction of coach Bob Collins chipped for a while, putted for a while, played a practice round in the sleet at Dretzka, and finally got a nice day for a meet just as this film went to press. The girls soccer team finally opened its outdoor conference season with a 5-0 victory over Germantown. You guessed it, in a heavy downpour. The tennis team spent most of the early season indoors at Lake Klub or hitting balls off the old gym floor. For the first time in more than four decades, the boys had a new coach as J. Kerry Bachman resigned and Tim Kappa took over the reins. Let's take a moment to listen to our outstanding concert band, symphonic band, and jazz band under the direction of Mr. Nick White. and I just recently retired from Nicolay and I've worked here for 25 years recently as the internal services secretary. I enjoy it very much. I'm back at Nicolay subbing occasionally and the rest of my time I plan to spend retiring. My job has many facets. Um, I organize social activities for uh, the student body here at Nicolay, concerts, uh, homecoming, prom, city Hawkins dance and a number of other things. Hi, my name is Cyrus. I'm a senior here at Nicolet. 
and I would like to play a little bit of the Paganini Violin Concerto for you. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. I think we could certainly change it some. Mr. President, 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 Mr.
name's Armin Tuzak, and uh, I'm talking about the Senior Service Project. There's an opportunity for seniors to give something back to the community and to show that Nicolay seniors care about their environment and not just about themselves. I'm Kathy. This is the Nicolay Senior Service Project and there's about eight of us here working at Habitat for Humanity. We're at the warehouse and we're helping to fix it up. The police department sought and obtained a warrant for the arrest of O.J. Simpson, charging him with the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Wild Goldman. That devastating earthquake that killed 5,500 people and caused more than $100 billion in damage in Belfast, Catholics and Protestants led separate torchlit parades and embraced when they met. Voters gave Republicans control of the House and Senate for the first time in 40 years. It's crazy. This is Woodstock 94. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Connecticut. Canada. The shuttle Endeavor and its crew of seven are prepared to make history. Four crew members will spend their time conducting astronomy observations and maintenance on three exotic telescopes in the shuttle's cargo bay. With the first day of 1995 came the roar of Russian tanks captured by the Chechens. Violence erupted in Japan, deaths and hundreds of injuries as a lethal gas filled the air of a subway. What's that on my head? Why, it's a hat. Go figure. We pointed our camera upward to get some shots of Nikolay's more creative headwear. I'd like to use this opportunity to thank the faculty, the administrators and staff for a tremendous year during the 1994-95 school year. They've had the pleasure and opportunity to work with a very good student body here at Nicolay High School, especially the senior class, the class of 1995. I'd like to thank the students in the class of 1995 for the four years that they've attended Nicolay High School and for all their accomplishments. Wish them well in their future endeavors. And once again, uh, Nicolay High School has been a better place because they've been students here at our school. Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 1995. You've certainly been a good class. I hope you all of the best in the future, and I do really hate to see you go, but good luck. Uh, with the class of 1995, congratulations. As one of the co-advisors for the class, it's fun working with them, working on uh, graduation and commencement exercises. Congratulations on, on your graduation, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the not-too-distant future when you tell me uh, all the successes that you've had. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the Nicolay baseball team for winning the North Shore Conference Baseball Championship in 1994. I am delighted that somebody was uh, able to play their entire season, and I wish them well next year and hope they'll repeat uh, during the, in the 1995 season, and I hope all of us will have a great baseball year in 1995. Okay, Nicolay High School, we expect to see all of you here at Summerfest, June 29th through July 9th. The greatest basketball coach I know, Steve Bazelon. Hey, Nicolay, I heard you're looking for a forward next season. I'm Vin Baker of the Bucks. If the Bucks let me go next season, I'll be available.
We're all going off to college next year, but I want you to remember all your old friends and all the good times we've had for the past four years, and probably learned something useful in the last four years, despite the fact that you slept through most of your classes. And good luck. See you all later. Harry, what have we learned in the last four years? Melody, what have I learned in the last four years? Well, I think we learned to make friends. Okay. Because a lifetime Wait, without Melody, friends... Wait, Melody, that's my line. No, Mel because... Melody, a lifetime without friends is like a life without sunshine. sunshine. Good luck, Wednesday. everybody. It's been great. Bye, Nicolay. I've had a good time at Nicolay overall, except for possibly my junior history class, which was a problem. Good learning experience, but I had to learn too much about the Irish potato famine and how her family came over from Ireland. I know all about it now. I've had a great time at Nicolay, and I just have a message for everyone. When they let us all off this campus, and I don't even know why they call it a campus, because this is just a high school, but when we finally all get to college, don't throw away all your, money, all your parents' money gambling. Thank you. We have lots of fun at Nicolet. Uh-huh. I can't believe it's over. Yep. We gratefully appreciate such a Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. Remember, people, life is like the game of golf. You may hit a lot of them in the woods, but if you keep swinging, you may get a hole in one. I'd like to say I truly enjoyed this graduating class, but there's one thing I want you to know. I want you out of here now. I wish all of you good luck in whatever ventures you have, and remember, beware the Ides of March. Best wishes, class of 1995. See ya. Goodbye, seniors. It's really been great knowing you, but just make sure that the door doesn't hit you on the way out. Hope to see you again, but not real soon. Good luck, seniors. Have a good life. Take care. Many times people ask me whether or not anybody could do a better job than our president, Bill Clinton. Well, I can think of one guy, and that's Dr. Elliot Moser. Now, the multimedia yearbook, the book and the video, the yearbook for today.